Well, here we are. Greenhouse is all moved over. I got all the anchors back in. See, we use the T-post, like I said before, and we use these old, uh, we run uh, vegetable oil in our tractors in the summer when it's warm enough, and it comes in these. We collected it from a restaurant, and so I reuse these containers as long as I can. The UV rays break them down, so eventually I do have to throw them away, but try to use them as long as I can. So I just put some uh, sand or soil into the into them, and I cut them. I cut them and leave the top. You see this one's breaking down, but the idea is I cut that so that that sheds water because uh, it'll burst open if the water gets in there and then it freezes. But anyway, I use those for weights and uh, try to anchor down the plastic as well as I can. Remember, like I said, since uh, there's no foundation along the end wall, the plastic just flaps, so i got to weigh it down somehow. And uh, as you can see on the other side, I put the uh, I put the I these here, the 2 by 3 or 2 by 4 whatever I happen to have lying around. I reuse them as long as I can, but they eventually rot on the bottom where they're in the ground. But I drive those in and uh, screw the end wall to it so it doesn't move back and forth. And I uh, got it all moved over, got all the wheels back on the track, got the track all straightened up. So that's all set. And uh, then I weighed down the plastic on the sides, just some old, old fence posts or some old logs, whatever, again, that I have laying around and uh, way down the other side. And I haven't done this on the south side. This is the north side. Try to weigh down the north side as much as possible. I haven't done the south side yet. I will do it before winter, but right now, as you can see, right along the greenhouse, I still have uh, this one bed that still has a... The lettuce is no good, but there's some carrots and some spinach in there that I want to get out first before I move the plastic out and weigh it down. I'd crush those, so I'll try to get as much out as I can. And uh, this is where the greenhouse was. You can see it's pretty, it doesn't look very nice right now, but uh, I'll come in here now that the greenhouse is off. It'll be a lot easier to clean it, um, clean it up, get rid of all the tomatoes and the weeds that sprouted up everywhere where we didn't get a chance to mulch. And uh, get rid of the, there's my vole traps. We have a pretty bad problem with voles here, meadow voles, quite a lot of them. And I put them in the greenhouse where I grow my sweet potatoes because I like to eat the sweet potatoes. and. I tried this this year and it works great, these uh, vole traps that are uh, recommended by Elliot Coleman. So uh, I uh, basically made three of them to try and uh, they work great so I'll be making a lot more this winter. When, I, uh, when it's dark and cold outside and I need something to do I'll be in the barn working on those kind of projects and I'll make a bunch of those, they work great. But I need a lot more out in the garden. As you can see we have lots and lots of space out here, lots of places for voles to be hanging around, breeding eating all the vegetables. So anyway, this is where the greenhouse was. Doesn't look like much now, but over the next week or so I'll clean this all up. Put what I can in the compost pile and uh, shape the beds out and mulch them for next spring. And then uh, I'll essentially, you can see how they're mulched right here. Um, Lydia, who, who works for us, just uh, mulched all these beds. I prepped them, dig the walking paths, fertilize them with horse manure and then uh, we just mulch them down with hay for the winter and then in the spring we rake the hay off and plant. So good morning's work. Mulched out these, actually Lydia just did this, so we mulched that out and then did these, uh, moved the greenhouse. So we're all set for winter.